30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. Why is it so important to boost or increase your metabolism? Simply put, the higher your metabolic rate is, the more calories you burn. Hence, the easier it is to lose weight and keep it off. Someone with a sluggish or slower metabolism will gain more fat from eating less food in comparison to a person with a fast, healthy metabolism. So what affects your metabolism? Genetics, age, weight, diet, exercise habits, as well as lifestyle. There are certain areas in which we can't control, such as our genes and also age. As we age, we start to lose five to six pounds of muscles every decade, starting in our late twenties. So if you choose to do absolutely nothing about it, that's when you'll start to see the weight pile on as you age. Saying that, however, there are also areas which we can control. Our weight, diet, exercise routine, and lifestyle. These are the areas we should take control of, and it can speed up our metabolism. So I'm going to share with you eight effective ways to boost your metabolism, burn fat, and lose weight. The only way to increase lean muscle mass is to lift weights. For every pound of lean muscle, your body burns an additional 14 calories a day, whereas a pound of fat only burns 2 to 3 calories. This small difference can add up over time. Hence, people who are leaner with higher muscle mass burn more calories at rest compared to those with higher body fat. Adding strength training two to three times a week burns significantly more fat than those who only perform cardio exercises. Resistant training can involve using the machines in the gym or free weights such as dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, or equipment such as a resistance band, or even body weight exercises such as push-ups and pull-ups. Swap steady pace cardio for HIIT. Yes, going for a long jog can be great to burn calories, but it isn't the most efficient or effective way to achieve that lean physique you're after. High intensity interval training, or more commonly known as HIIT, involves quick and exert intense bursts of energy. Implementing a consistent heat routine requires your body to consume more oxygen, making your mitochondria work harder and burn more energy. Heat training can burn a similar amount of calories in half the time compared to a low-intensity, steady-based cardio. Not only will you be saving time, you'll reap the benefits of a heat workout even after the session. So after your HIIT workout, your body continues to burn calories for up to 36 hours by increasing your metabolic rate. That boost of metabolism will not be possible through a steady paced cardio training. You can very easily incorporate interval training into your workout by inserting a 30 second sprint into your jog or bike followed by a one minute recovery and repeat this cycle for 10 times. If you aren't gasping for air, you aren't exerting enough effort for it to be considered a HIIT training. It has to be intense. Don't starve yourself. Yes, in order to lose weight, you need a calorie deficit. However, an extreme calorie deficiency long-term can wreak havoc on your metabolism. If you're underfeeding your body on a regular basis, your metabolism will adapt to the new lower calorie intake. Your metabolism works more efficiently to try and preserve the remaining calories, hence slowing down your metabolism. Yes, you will lose weight, but is this sustainable? Once you were to go back to your normal ways of eating or increase your food intake, that's when you will start piling on the weight again. And it happens really fast. Avoid extreme diets. Instead, reduce your calorie intake at a healthy and realistic pace, which can help you lose weight and at the same time, you know that you can sustain this for life. Fourth, power up with protein. 
TEP, which is also known as the thermic effect of food, is caused by the extra calories your body uses to digest, absorb, and process the nutrients in your meal. Protein causes the largest rise in TEP as it is harder for your body to break it down. It raises your metabolic rate by 15 to 30 percent compared to 5 to 10 percent for carbs and 0 to 3 percent for fats. Therefore, consuming plenty of protein can make you burn an extra 100 to 200 calories a day. Plus, you will also feel more full and prevent overeating. Eating large amounts of carbohydrates without any protein will spike your blood sugar levels, only to have it crash one or two hours later. This cycle will wreak havoc on your metabolism and leave you fatigued and in a constant state of hunger. That doesn't mean you have to consume a very high protein diet. The guideline to simply follow is check that 20 to 30% of your total daily calories come from protein. And the easiest method I like to follow is to have a serving of protein such as lean meat, fish, nuts, legumes or yogurt at every meal and snack. Next, sip on black coffee. Studies have shown that the caffeine in coffee can boost metabolism by 3 to 11%. And this is why if you were to take a look at fat burners, most of them have caffeine as the number one ingredient. That doesn't mean that you should be a caffeine addict and just sip on coffee all day long expecting to lose weight. You still need to put in the effort. Drinking a cup of black coffee before exercising can improve your workout performance, speed up your metabolism, hence help you burn fat more efficiently. And that's something I personally practice myself. So one cup of joe before my training. Exercising has tons of benefits. However, if you have a sedentary life where you're sat on your desk for eight hours every single day, and you only move for an hour in the gym, that's probably not the best way to boost your metabolism throughout the day. The goal here is to move more. Sitting too much kills you, and it's even dubbed as the new smoking. Long periods of sitting burn fewer calories and can lead to weight gain and many other health issues. An effective way to increase your metabolism with very minimal effort is to stand up and move more. Perhaps work from a standing desk or set yourself a reminder to move every hour. Get up, get yourself a cup of tea, do some simple stretches or just walk around your office. Make the effort to move more by walking to get lunch, taking public transport or taking the stairs. All these daily incidental movements can help you to burn more calories and even lose weight with very minimal effort. We all know the importance of water, but did you know that your body needs water to process calories? Hence, if you are even slightly dehydrated, your metabolism may slow down. Some simple tricks to drink more water daily is to drink a glass once you're up in the morning and drink a glass of water before every meal or consume a healthy vegetable soup before your meal and also snack on fresh fruits and vegetables which naturally contain water. Water helps to fill you up, which means those who drink more water will tend to consume less food. What you really need to avoid are sugary drinks and alcohol, as they contain empty calories but can add up over time and cause weight gain. And I can't stress this enough. Get enough rest. Lack of sleep can be linked to being overweight. Sleeping is something we don't prioritize in our busy and hectic lifestyle. Not getting enough rest can disrupt your hormones, change the way you process sugar, and decrease the number of calories you burn. Sleep affects the levels of two hormones, leptin and ghrelin, which control the feelings of fullness and hunger. Leptin sends a signal to your brain that you have had enough to eat. Without enough sleep, your brain reduces leptin and raises ghrelin, which is an appetite stimulant. Hence, 
when you lack sleep, you will also notice that you eat and crave more. You're in control of your body's metabolic rate. Don't blame it on your genetics or age. Making small lifestyle changes on a daily basis can boost your metabolism, and you will only thank yourself for it. A high metabolism can help with weight loss, maintaining a healthy weight for life, and more importantly, it gives you more energy to do the things you enjoy and truly live life. What other methods have you tried to increase your metabolism? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out a lot more fitness tips on my YouTube channel. And I will see you in my next video.